So you might not be working out for any reason. It could be that you're traveling. It could be that you're taking a day off or it could be that you're injured. Now the calories should change, but they might not. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you when the calories should change and how you adjust them based on your goals. And before we go on guys, give the video a like. So let's say it's a Sunday and you plan on doing a rest day. So on a Sunday, you go from burning, let's say 3000 calories every single day, Monday through Saturday, and you're burning that many calories because you might be doing multiple workouts, you might be going for walks, you might be doing something extra that is keeping that heart rate up and keeping you burning calories. And so if on a Sunday, the calories that you burn drop from 3000 down to 1500 calories a day, then you would think, well, I should probably not eat as much that day. This is true and false at the same time. How is it true? So if you were eating balance throughout the entire week where you are burning 3000 calories, but you are always eating 3000 calories and obviously you're tracking your food, you're weighing it so you know that you're pretty much spot on with what your watch is telling you and what your, tra your food tracker is telling you. So if Monday through Saturday you're eating 3000 calories, and you can even use the scale as a determinant if you've been eating in balance or eating too little or eating too much because on that seventh day, if your weight is the exact same from Monday as it is onto the next Sunday, then yes, you've been eating in a caloric balance. So on that day, if you decrease your calorie burn, then you should decrease your caloric intake if your goal is weight loss, which the majority of my viewers, their focus is on weight loss. So if you're eating balance for the six days prior and on the seventh day you decrease your calories or you decrease your caloric burn, then you should be eating in balance. So you should be focusing on eating 1500 calories. So that's on the week. So if on the week you're eating balance and you started the week off at a certain weight and your goal is to lose weight, but at the end of the week you are at the exact same weight that you were at the start of the week, then that means that you've been eating in balance. Now you might have not been eating 3000 calories every single day, but some days you get really hungry. And this is what happens to people when they first start any type of dieting and they don't know what to expect when it comes to hunger and being in a caloric deficit. Is that let's say on Monday you start your diet and you burn 3000 calories, but you only eat 1500 calories. Now you do this Monday, Tuesday, some of you could probably tough it out right till Wednesday, but as soon as Thursday hits, you're tired, you've been super busy, you're getting a little grumpy, and you're like, I deserve a snack. But the problem is these snacks, and even if they're small snacks throughout the day or they're just one giant meal, they could and probably would put you over your caloric balance for the week. So it's not hard to eat 4,000 calories of junk food. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You could even eat 6,000. If you were to sit down and you were to go and have one of those like breads with the spinach dip and then you have a piece of cheese with it and you decide that hey I'm gonna have a glass of wine and a glass of wine leads you to eat more junk food, candy, chips, chocolate, like these low density high calorie foods, they will add up quickly and they will wipe out your deficit from the earlier part of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you went low calorie and you burnt a lot of calories. But Thursday, you were tired and you decided that, hey, it's time to eat and, and just savage out food. And you're just like, I deserve one day where I get a complete break. Now that one day can wipe out the rest of your week. Think about how much money you make. So you work for two weeks, okay? You get paid every two weeks. And you make, let's say, $2,000 in two weeks. So you spent 10 days of working to make $2,000 of income, but you decide that on the Wednesday before payday, you're gonna go out and buy something new. And this something new costs you $2,500. Let's say it's a dishwasher, okay? You need a new dishwasher. So you go and buy this new dishwasher that costs you $2,500 after warranty. It's one of the best ones. You know, you gotta get the highest and the best of everything, right? So you go and get this $2,500 washing machine, but in the last 10 days, you've only made $2,000. But this thing costed you 2,500 bucks. In money, it makes sense, right? So if you're spending more than you make, you go broke. If you're eating more than you burn, 
you're gonna gain weight. And so that caloric deficit and that caloric balance, yes, it's gotta be monitored properly. So you can look at it from a week to week standpoint where if you keep yourself in a caloric deficit and then on a Sunday, you actually go over in calories, in the end, if you were down here and on a Sunday you go up here, as long as you never go over here and you keep it here, then this will level out and you'll either be the same weight, but if you're in a slight caloric deficit, then you'll lose a slight amount of weight. And that's why I'm gonna tell you that it's more important to be consistent and look at your results over the course of a year versus just looking over the course of a couple weeks, even a 28 day belly burn challenge. It's not painting the entire picture. Okay, we are what we consistently do. So if you wanna consistently see the number and how you look and how you feel consistently change, then we have to do the things that we need to do consistently. So when would you ever decrease your calories? Well, the easiest solution is that you would decrease your calories based on your energy output. So if you burn 3000 calories, then you can eat up to 3000 calories, but nothing more. And then on low days when you're not working out or you have an injury or you're busy or whatever it might be, you should be decreasing the amount, amount of calories that you're consuming to create that balance. But if you actually wanna see any type of weight loss or fat loss results, then you have to keep yourself in a slight or more aggressive deficit. Now to put on muscle and to keep your body pushing so that you can thrive to build muscle, to burn more calories and you can eat more food, well, that's a whole other video, but for simplicity for this video, when should you decrease your calories? Well, the calories that you consume should match the calories that you burn. So if you know on a Sunday is a complete rest day and you're only getting like 2,000 steps on the day, whereas Monday through Saturday, you're getting like 15 to 20,000, but you're eating those calories in, that, in those busy days, then on your low days, you should definitely be decreasing the amount of calories that you're taking in. And I hope this makes sense to you guys. It's simple, calorie in, calorie out, create the balance. Let's start with that as your base. If you're looking for more of a detailed approach to your nutrition and your training plan, maybe you're brand new, join us five days for five bucks. Members, I ask that you start to do more posts. People wanna see your transformation. If I'm posting about my transformations or I'm resharing some of the other transformations, people are like, well, RJ's already fit. Like he doesn't need to go and work out. It's impossible for me to be like him. And, and it might be, but you might be more relatable to that person. So you as a member, if you can do, and you're watching this video to the end and I'm helping you out, all I ask is that you do a post about where you're at, some of the things that you've overcome and how did you overcome them so that one day we can motivate somebody that's even just a slight connection of you to come and work out with us and start changing their life 1% better every single day. Send them to our website, www.fitclub.fit or send us a text, 1-204-813-9113 and we'll help change your life today.